Well, hello again and uh, welcome to Waters and Stanton's video channel on YouTube. And back in 2015 I did a video that explained how cost effective it could be to connect a Heil headset to the IC7300. Well since then that uh, video has ceased to be published so I thought it would be good to bring it back because not only does it apply to the IC7300 but it now also applies to the IC9700. Now the 9700 is basically very similar to the 7300 apart of course from, of course, from the frequency coverage because it covers uh, 2 meters 70 cents and 23 cents. But anyway have a look at this video and I think it will be uh, useful if you're thinking about using a headset with the uh, 9700 or indeed the 7300. This is a very short video to uh, talk about um, how to use a headset with the ICOM IC7300 and I think I found the perfect answer. It's very economical and it works extremely well. The headset that I want to show you is uh, made by Heil and it's a dual earpiece headset with a boom microphone and the good news is that it's already terminated in the right connector to go straight into the IC7300. So let's have a closer look. The headset itself is terminated in an 8-pin connector and also we've got a quarter inch socket there which I'll come to in a second. Now to connect the headset it's pretty straightforward as you'd expect the 8-pin mic connector goes in there and then we uh, pick up the audio for the headphones by going into the headphone socket like that. Now you might ask uh, how do you uh, tr switch from receive to transmit? Well the answer is um, the most straightforward way of doing it is to use this button on the front there, press the transmit button, the transmit light comes on there, and so forth. Um, alternatively, you can use Vox. If we press the Vox button there, you'll see the Vox indicator come up on that panel there. So they are the two ways of doing it. The other way of doing it is to use this quarter inch socket on here, which actually is a PTT line. Now Heil make a PTT switch that will go into there, but it's probably quite easy to fabricate your own switch, put it on an end of a bit of cable with a quarter inch plug, go into there and then you've got your, your PTT line. Of course, the fourth option is to use a foot switch and again Heil make their own foot switch which will go into there. So th th there's four options really. Now I've uh, come in a bit closer on the camera because I just want to point out another feature which you can use in conjunction with the headset. If you press the function button um, at the bottom of the 7300 and you've got something there which says TBW which means transmitter bandwidth and you can actually change the transmitter filter bandwidth. And if you press this button, it's at the moment it's on wide, I press it once, it goes to mid, press it again, and it goes to narrow. And then we go around the circle, press it again, it goes to wide. The reason I mention this is because by changing the transmitter bandwidth, you also will change the effective audio response of the uh, transmission and you might find that useful when using the headset you might want to just to try different settings to see which gives the best speech quality for your particular voice. Well there you are you'll see how easy it is to connect a uh, headset hard headset to either the 7300 or the 9700 um, it's great because it, 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 it reduces the desk clutter, it gives you hands-free operation and um, it's a nice accessory for either of those transceivers. So I hope you, hope you found that useful. If you did, don't forget to press the subscribe button and here's to the next time. But in the meantime, enjoy your ham radio.